for Drew's news, the good news penny in your good news loafers. <laughs> and with me at the desk is a man with a staggering loafer collection, Rossi Ross Matthews. Um, thank you for noticing. Hi. 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 See, there you go. That, that was really barky -ish. That was really, I really t lifted my leg up there. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Hi, wow. everybody. Hi. Hi, Drew. That was like anatomically like challenging. Yeah, I'm going to feel that one tomorrow. <laughs> All right. You ready to get into the news? I am ready. All right. First up, we're going to talk about dating, uh -huh, but we're, it's thrifty week, so we're talking about dating costs. Mm. You know, singles are about, back out there now, only they're finding out that dating, girl, it's not cheap. Can yeah. anyone relate? Yeah. yeah. Everyone, they, we got used to Zoom dates, but whining and dining in person, that costs some moolah and real simple reports. A new survey found 75% of daters, they plan to spend, how much you think on a first date? $50, $60, they say $100 is what they, yes, right Rachel, there. right there, she was like, mm, 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 $100, yeah, but I guess that's what it costs if you think about it. I mean, I like an appetizer. I, <laughs> I don't have to think about it. You, oh, really? I'm single. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought you meant that you've got on so many dates you knew how much oh, it costs. Oh, I do go on dates occasionally. It's yeah. fun. Um, but um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I haven't thought about what it costs. Well, the experts say that if you want to be conscious about your money it would, with dating, you should set a, set a dating budget at no more than 10% of your monthly income. That is so romantic. Okay. And... <laughs> But I mean, I guess it's smart, but uh, they say, here's some ideas too. There's some thrifty dates you can do. So if you don't have a bunch of money, you get creative. You could go get a coffee. You could go browse a bookstore. Uh, you could check out an art gallery. Some are free on certain days. Um, I, uh, I'm just laughing over here because I'm like, you know, it's also really budget friendly. No second date. Oh. Um, <laughs> It's very economical. Oh, this was fun, but perfect. Bye-bye. You know what else is cheap? Netflix and chill, if you know what I mean. You already got that subscription or your friend's you and, password. Exactly. You and 20 other people yeah. sharing it. Um, how many, like, people here, show of hands, like, want a big sort of elaborate thing on their first date? Mm. Not a lot of hands, that's interesting. Maybe it's not about money, but it's about gesture. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to take me somewhere special, show me something that means something to you, I don't care if it's zero dollars. How many people are like cool with a six pack and a ferry ride or a walk in the park and yeah. a coffee? Yeah, I'm, I, I went on a date um, and I ate pizza on the curb. Uh -huh. And I was like, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. And we went and saw a movie and I was like, great. What about going Dutch? Do you ever do that where you split the bill on a date? That gets weird. Does it? I just heard some weird scuttlebutt from the audience, from the <laughs> guests. Why, mm, there was some mm, -ing. Does anyone raise a hand, want to say why they were mm, -ing? I see you with a giant flower over there. Please and thank you, I am feeling that flower. One second, one oh second. Oh my gosh! Oh my God, and I'm on your t-shirt! Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness! Now I've lost what the question even was. Well, it was about going Dutch. Oh, we yeah. So I'm Dutch, so I just know that I need to go Dutch all the time. I'm also a feminist, so I love making sure that my date doesn't have to pay. You get to know someone better that way. See, I have no problem with, like, I would love to treat a man, and I think women should open doors for men. I think chivalry should totally go across gender. Heck yes. Um... And there's probably an occasion where you can be like, we got this together and it like flows, but I feel like it can be a record scratch moment. When the bill comes? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It can get awkward. Uh huh. Well, thank you. And thank, thank you. you so much for coming and wearing flowers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, well, sticking with the thrifty theme, we've got another thrifty and sustainable combo. The Daily Mail reports that there's a new time-saving trend making the TikTok rounds. The next time you go grocery shopping, instead of paper or plastic, try a laundry basket. What? That's right. You can use it to shop, then check out and just load it on back into your car, plop it down, then you can take it out and throw it right back in your house, and this solves the old, like, soups can roll around problem or the bag breaking. Who's in for this? Huh. Huh. Um, you, you love this. I live for a laundry basket. 
I love laundry. I know you do. It's so weird. I love it I about love you. I love it. Um, I, I could, okay. I, I kind of get how this works. I, I don't know that I, I don't know that I'll try this, but I will tell you this. I do hate paying the 10 cents for a bag at the grocery store. So I'll do, I mean, even here in the city, I'll do whatever it takes to avoid it. So I will carry like garbanzo beans, tuna fish, a bottle of Fresca. I will carry it eight blocks just to avoid carrying a bag. So maybe I should just bring a laundry basket. Mm. All right, well finally, you know, all week long, we're, we've been rolling up our sleeves and trying out nifty thrifty tips and tricks in, <gasps> let's get thrifty. <laughs> Is that a drill and a pig snort? You better, better believe it, Drew. Oh. Uh, today, we're adding power tools to the game with our pumpkins. We're gonna drill a pumpkin. Let, I'm a safety kind of guy, so let's put this on, and thank God it coordinates with my outfit. Okay, good. <laughs> Today, we're gonna drill a pumpkin. That's right, are you ready? <laughs> well, good housekeeping, good housekeeping reports. Your household drill can make the perfect pumpkin carving tool. No need to buy any fancy carving tools. Every year I buy one of those uh, pumpkin carvers and the next Halloween I'm like, where did that go? Well, now we don't need it, look. <clears throat> okay, here's a pumpkin. And the, you know you can get these like grids where you kind of follow and you take one of these little toothpicks and you just sort of poke, right? Like a stencil. Like a stencil. And then you can either drill right through the paper or you can mark it with the toothpick and then remove the paper mm -hmm. and get your drill on. Yeah, but I'm gonna go right in. Are you ready? Okay, let's get drilling. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Drew Barrymore, sabotage, mother! <laughs> okay, well, it seems like a great idea <laughs> when it works. Um, I think also we need, <laughs> what are we drilling with this? Look at the hole. I don't know. This is the wrong size. It, well, I how? think it might be the wrong people. 